Example 52.5. In a recent Pew Research Center study, only 11% of 18 to 24 year olds reported that their current job is a career. For participants in the 30 to 34 age group, the percentage was 49%. Use the results to estimate the probability of four randomly selected 30 to 34 year olds all feeling that their current job is a career. All right, so this problem reflects kind of the modern U.S. economy, right? That people take longer to get into their career, right? So before, maybe in our grandparents' generation or, um, you know, your parents' generation, at 18 to 24, they would have already been starting their careers. Now it seems they're taking longer to do that, and this problem's data reflects that. So let's first, though, try to figure out what they're asking us to do in the problem. It says clearly that they want us to estimate a probability, so they want us to do a probability calculation. Okay, what kind of probability? Well, we're using four randomly selected 30 to 34 year olds, right? The fact that we're taking more than one 30 to 34 year old makes this a multiple event problem. If I take just one 30 to 34 year old, that's just one event, right? So if I grab just one event, a one, sorry, one 30 to 34 year old person and I ask them, you know, is your job a career? You know, that's just one simple event. But here I'm taking four people, so there's four separate events. Anytime you have more than one event, you're dealing with the multiplication rule of probability. So we're going to have four separate fractions to represent each event, and we're going to multiply them all together. Of course, fractions could also be represented as decimals or percentages, right? But that's still the idea that there are four probabilities going to be multiplied together. Okay, so let's start out by writing a probability statement. I'm going to say here the probability that all four, so this is all four people selected, um, say they are in their career. Okay, so you could word that in different ways, but obviously, you know, that conveys what they're asking for, that we're going to select four people and all four of them say they're in the career. That's what it says, right? All feeling that their current job is a career. Okay, so we have that down. Now, because there's four people selected, we're going to use that four to create one, two, three, four fractions. Don't make the mistake of using that 4 in the actual calculation somewhere. The 4 is used to tell you how many probabilities will be multiplied together, because that's your 4 events, right? Your 4 selections. They produce 4 probability fractions. That's it, though. You don't put the 4 in the fraction itself. The 4 is used up to create the number of spaces. If you put a 4 in here anywhere else, it's because there's a 4 in this problem somewhere, you know, other than this 4. So there should be, you know, no number 4 in here unless the 4 comes from some other place. This 4 is the reason why we have 4 fractions, and that's it. It's used up once you've done it, used it that way. Okay, now from there we have to figure out what each fraction represents, right? So we're going to look at that first fraction, and we're going to say, hey, what does that fraction represent? Well, it's obviously the first person selected, right? It's the first person selected. And how do we want that to turn out according to this problem? We want to say that that first person selected is in their career, right? In their career. So that's what we want for that first probability. We want the first person selected to say they're in their career. Well, in the 30 to 34 age group, which is who we're selecting, what's the probability they say they're in their career? Well, according to the problem, that probability is 49%, right? So we'll write that as a decimal, 0.49, and that's it. So remember, you can write a fraction of probability, or you can write it as a decimal if it's given as a decimal in the problem, like it is here. All right, now what's the second one supposed to represent? What's the second space representing? Well, this is the second person, right? Second person. And how do you want that to turn out? Well, you want the second person says what? They are in their career, right? In their career. Right? Second person says they are in their career. I left out the word they, but I did that on purpose because you have the idea, right? The second person says they're in their career, that's again a 49% chance because this second person is also in the 30 to 34 year old age bracket. And notice how if, if one randomly selected person out of the phone book, let's say, or off the streets says they're in their career, right? That's not going to make it more or less likely that this person is in their career, right? You know, the two should not affect one another as long as they're not connected in any way if they're just randomly selected from the population. So ultimately, I would say that um, this is an independent case where, in other words, each of these probabilities should be unaffected by the others. And then dot, 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 right? I could keep writing out these little probability statements, but you have the idea. They're going to each be 49% or 0.49 as a decimal, right? So 
then we will multiply them all together, right? And there we have it. So the final answer is 0.49 to the fourth power, and that turns out to be 0.49 to the fourth power. We get uh, almost 6%, 0 0.0576. So 5.76% or almost 6%. So not a high probability that all four of them say they're in their career already. Okay, and that's it.